if you are watching this, you are about to take the U.S. History test, the EOC test. If you're watching this tutorial, you are getting ready to take the U.S. History EOC test that is a requirement for graduation in all Texas schools. So if you're enrolled in AP U.S. History or on-level U.S. History, you do have to take this. This is a Texas state requirement for graduation. But this year is just a little bit different. Instead of doing the paper to, uh, paper to pen test that we've done before in the past, or paper to pencil test, now it's going to be exclusively online. So we want you to know how to do that. The best way to do this, you'll, you'll need to have a school-issued Chromebook. So hopefully you already have a school-issued Chromebook in order to do this. So we want you to come to school with your fully charged school-issued Chromebook in order to take this test. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're not going to log in to your Chromebook. So I want you guys to hear me on this. Notice on this part right here, you're not logging in. This is the, what you usually see. Instead, right next to the sign in button, there's a button that says apps. And on it, it says star online testing program. Now, those of you that are in AP US history, you're familiar with this because if you click on College Board here, that's how you take your lockdown browser test. It's the same kind of idea, but this is a STAR or EOC program, okay? Um, now, one thing that you may do is you may want to try this out, try the tutorial out just to get used to it and to try some of, out, some of the different functions out. Um, and you can do that by logging on to the STAR online testing program now and you can do the tutorial. So you can kind of try out these things to make sure you're completely ready for that test. Okay, so once you're into it, it's gonna have a screen that looks like this, and you can click on tutorials, right? So it, when you come to the actual test, you're actually gonna click the summative assessment but button. That's what you'll pick uh, when we do that for STAR next week. Okay, and you're gonna select your grade, and obviously you guys are in 11th grade or possibly 12th grade. The next thing you do is you're gonna select a subject. It doesn't say US history here, but it, that is available on the tutorial. And, um, and also it says to select a test, so whether or not you get supports. Now, you know if you get supports. If you don't know if you get supports, you don't get supports, okay? If you get supports, uh, like you get extra time or something like that, that's something to click on all supports. You will know if you get supports at this point. Okay, so this is what it looks like for every student. It's gonna have, you know, the question here and all of the numbers, the answer choices are down here at the bottom, okay? So you can click on it, you can go ahead if you want, but I can't imagine you want to do that. So this kind of keeps it together. Now you can always just click next or back anytime you wanted to do something, okay? If you're not clear on a multiple choice question and you want to go back to that, you can click this little uh, flag right here that says mark to review. And then it's going to circle your question so that you know that you need to go back to that question. Anytime you want to click a multiple choice, just click on the circle simply that you believe is the correct answer on it. There's also something here that gives you the, you know, the highlight tool. That's part of your tools here. And any student has the access to highlight something. So for example, if there was a passage and you wanted to highlight something or you wanted to use the highlight tool, you can do that. You can also erase the highlights anytime that you want to. Okay, there's also the choice to eliminate. Notice these, this tool function here. You can eliminate one. Let's say that you're not sure completely what the answer is, but you want to, you know it's not this one and you know it's not this one, and possibly you want to eliminate those and maybe mark it for review and come back to it. Either way, you can use that tool. After that, you can, of course, hit the clear so you can remove all of the marks if you want to. Okay, those of you that want to use, if you want to use a notepad, I can't imagine you'd want to use this very much, but if you want to, let's say, summarize an excerpt or a primary source, you can always click the notepad and make a note there, maybe something you know, and click to review it. You can also zoom in on something. Okay, that's part of that here, too. And let's say you had a, you know, a, a political cartoon or something and you want to zoom in on it, you'd be able to use that zooming tool. 
Some students actually like to have different color backgrounds. You like that on your phone, so you might actually like to do that. That's also a, a, an option here under the tools for you to change the color. And that's over here, I'm sorry, at the bottom um, where it says color. If you need to take a break during the test and so say you need to use the restroom, you can use the pause button for a short break. Make sure you are making your test administrator aware that you're going to do that so they can make sure that you've pressed that correctly. And big thing too, once you are done, make sure you go through the questions and you make sure you have all the answers that you want. Make sure they're all complete, but do not hit the submit button. You need to call your administrator over and make sure that they look at it and make sure that all of the questions have been answered. Okay, and finally, you're going to get to this review um, part right here. This is when all of the questions have been answered. You can see they're all answered. You click end test. And of course, again, this is with your test administrator watching over this. Then what you do, if you haven't answered all the questions, this error message is gonna pop up telling you how many are unanswered. Make sure you go back and answer the ones that are missing. And then once you submit it, you click that and you end the test, okay? Then you are completely done. So bravo, you have completed the tutorial. So I encourage you guys to go through the tutorial and, you know, try it yourself. Don't make it brand new when you show up. Make sure you're utilizing all the tools that you can. And best of luck, do your very best, and we believe in you.